Welcome to Cloud Dolls. For this video, I want to welcome one of my favorite series of the moment, Lord of the Rings. Of course, I'm crazy about it. I love it. I don't know if you love it also. I saw all the films and I am crazy about the city. I'm going to bring you the character of Galadriel. She's one of the main elf characters fighting against the all evil Sauron. For that, I'm gonna use this Laguna. She's from Monster High. I choose her because of really sweet face and her skin color that is light. So I think she's perfect for that. She's just need to be clean. I'm Let's get started. And with a little bit of editing magic, she's clean and ready to go. First, I'm gonna change the ears because helps they have pointy ears I'm not gonna make them too big because in, in this series the ears are not too big it's one of the things that I notice and with this blonde synthetic hair I'm gonna reroot her head and after that I'm gonna glue it and let it dry for the night I have to make a few change in the body The holes, I'm gonna cover them with thermoplastic that I make it warm with my hair dryer and I sand it to make it smooth like the leg. And then I clean all the body with nail polish with the acetone free. I pick up my Mr. Super Clear and my mask and as usual I give it three layers and let it dry 30 minutes between the layers. I already attach the head to the body because I want to blush it all together. It's a way that you have it to save uh, a little bit of Mr. Super Clear because everyone knows that it's really toxic and it's expensive. And then I start with a light pencil sketching the eyes. I'm using Faber-Castell, Stabilo, Druent and Caran d'Ache watercolor pencils to sketch her face. And to blush their body, I'm using Rembrandt Soft Pastels. With light brown, I'm, I start giving the shapes to the eyebrows. And then with the light pencils, I give it fine lines for the hairs. Galadriel, she has blue eyes. I don't want to give it too much blush because she's pale. For the lips, I just give them a little bit of touch of red and pink. And layer by layer, I do it all over again until I get the opacity and the details that I wanted for her face. Every time that your pencils don't work anymore, it's time to give it a layer of Mr. Super Clear and let it dry for 30 minutes and then you can start all over again. In the series Galadriel, she show up as a young version, as in the movie.
I give it a little bit of touch of green in the eyes to give it more detail and then with my fine brush and my watercolor black color I give it the lower eyelashes with a lot of patience And then with black soft pastel I give it the shadow of the upper eyelashes and I also give it a little bit of touch of yellow in the iris and then with the white watercolor I give her the highlights in the eyes, nose and lips. also in the eyebrows. And finally, with my gold micro powder, I give it the shiny. I use this gold cotton fabric to make the dress and this turquoise cotton to make the cape and then I'm gonna decorate it with these gold leaves and with some beads. I start sewing the cape first in the sides and then in the end in the back side I'm gonna decorate it. It's time to use my uh, 3D printer. I'm using a standard translucent resin for the first time. So let's see how it works. And I put the pen inside and you can do it. You just you can do it, Claudia? Yes, you do it. <laughs> and it's time to start it the printer. and just let her do her job. And that's what I get. I found these amazing shoes with all of the tails. In the film and in the series I cannot see the shoes really well, so I'm imagining them. I'm using gold leaves, gold micro powder to decorate them. The most scenes that I've seen, she doesn't wear shoes but I don't think my Caladriel will be complete without them. I'm using also this gold wire that I go around the leg and that's how I attach the base of the shoes to her legs. And I use the gold leaves to cover a little bit the holes that she have in the legs and to embellish the body. After the dress is done and embellished with some beads, also in gold color, it's time to dress her up. With the same beads, I give her a necklace. And I'm gonna give her also a bracelet. But this time, I'm using a thin gold wire to do it. You also like Lord of the Rings? I am so excited with the series. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I found some lovers also, because here in the house no one's like it. And I'm gonna do the same thing in the other arm. It's time for the crown. She wear a gold crown with gold leaves and pearls. And I use both wires the thicker and the thin one around it and with some pearls and the same gold leaves that I use in the dress I'm gonna decorate it. I want to share something with you. I'm so happy, I'm so thankful. Sometimes I doubt myself because it's difficult. My friends are in the doll community 
and my support is in the doll community so thank you thank you thank you to my doll friends the people that give me support and follow me and doesn't let me give up i'm thankful because at the moment that i put this doll to sale she was like five minutes on the internet on my etsy shop she was sold so i was so happy and it was a relief to know that i'm giving and i'm bringing a little bit of my love in my dolls to someone so i want to say thank you to all of you and i do exactly the same thing in the other side now that i'm not gonna do anything more in the head or in the body i'm gonna give it the final touches in her face the highlights in the eyes nose and lips finish Galadriel with some glossy varnish in the eyes and lips and of course she would not be anyone without her sword so I printed one in my 3d printer I painted it in silver color and now I'm giving her the large details in gold and with this our Galadriel from Lord of the Rings is ready I'll let you with the final photos of her Don't forget to subscribe my channel, click the bell button, leave the comments, and I see you in my next video. Bye! You have not seen what I have seen.